Xavier Porter with the one and only Joe Guardia Star Boxer. How you feeling today, sir? Good, Xavier, doing all right. You? All right, I'm hanging in there. All right. First off, congratulations. You know, your company is doing amazing things in boxing. Um, tell us about uh, the, the card on the 26th. Well, look, we got a, a really exciting card. Mohegan Sun, January 26th. Main event is going to feature the Hammer. Peter Selden. Okay. All right. He just came back. He had a nice uh, knockout win in November on ESPN Plus, mm -hmm. and now he'll be on uh, January 26th in Mohegan Sun on Nesson. Uh, we'll be doing a tape delay there. Okay. Stacked card. We have Anthony Laureano, an exciting undercard uh, so fight. Connecticut. Connecticut, Hoffman, <laughs> undefeated. Mm -hmm. You know, he's got that personality. Um, exciting. Mm -hmm. Fans love to see him. He just keeps coming forward, throwing punches. Yes. Great style. Uh, Another guy we just signed up, Ronnie Austin. Okay. Okay. Ronnie was off for a while. We signed him uh, last November, put him on in a fight down in uh, Mexico. He got a win again. Mm -hmm. So now he's 11 and 0 with nine knockouts. Was a top top amateur from Detroit. Mm -hmm. uh, we got a lot of high hopes for him. He's on that card. Okay. Uh, we got a title fight on that card between. This is a great fight. Mm -hmm. William Foster versus mm. Angel Suarez. Wow. Yeah, that's that's going to be... from Boston, right? Yeah, from yeah. Boston against okay. Suarez, Puerto Rican. Yeah. Um, uh, Suarez. Light heavyweight. Really no, that's uh, 130 oh. pounds. Oh, his brother. That's his brother. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. his brother. Uh, he's also undefeated, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Suarez is the one that beat Titus Williams out of the Paramount. Oh, okay. yeah, that, that was a good fight. fight. Yes. I was there for that yes. fight, yes, absolutely. So that's going to be a thrilling fight. He's uh, the Olympic, Puerto Rican Olympic. Uh, correct, yeah, yeah. correct. So, uh, great fight yeah. uh, that, on that card as well. We have Kaylee scheduled to fight on the card, okay. Kaylee Reese. We have, uh, I mean, I got no, Nathan <laughs> Martinez. I got Marrero, the kid, uh, Jacob Marrero, just a stock, stock card. Okay. And right now, we're this close to making um, an exciting fight between Papo and Pennington. Okay. So, we're working on that. I don't know if we're going to add that to the card because now this, the card's really stocked. Gotcha. <laughs> right now, we got uh, eight fights scheduled. Well, that would be the ninth spectacular card, January 26th, Mohegan Sun. Okay. Now, we're going to fa well, we're gonna rewind. All right, <laughs> rewind. Because this Friday, we got we got, two, we got two of your guys facing off. Former guy that you had, Demetrius Andre. I know you still have a great relationship with him. Yep. Uh, he's defending this title. And you have Danny Gonzalez facing Chris Algeri. Yep. How did that come about, Joe? Look, it's a, it's a, <laughs> I mean, these are two of your guys. Look, it's just spectacular. To be honest, you know, yeah. look, I got Demetrius. Yeah. He's fighting now with Eddie. Um, yes, yes. But we still got a great relationship, a lot going on. Yes. And um, I'm, I'm pleased with him. He's doing well. He's staying active now. Yes. And looks like he's got his, his head in the right direction. Gotcha, and gotcha. things are going to be good for him. Yeah. So I'm hopeful that's the case. <laughs> but having Chris Algeri fighting against... Danny Gonzalez yeah. came across great. It was a fantastic setup. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was wild when we were talking about. We just had our jury fight in November. November yeah, yeah. 30th. I was there for that one as well. Right. Um, and prior to that, Danny was the main event at the mm -hmm. Paramount against uh, Hernandez yes. in September. Yeah. So when we were talking about getting Chris right back on this card, and we looked and we said, let's make Danny and Chris. Mm -hmm. You know, called them both up, and you know, to their credit, both of them. You know, these guys take fights. Yeah. They take fights. <laughs> Danny jumped all over mm -hmm. it. Chris always takes everything, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's rewarding. I'm going to have the two of these guys fighting each other. Yeah. You know, in some respects, it's bittersweet because, yeah. you know, yeah. it's tough when you got two guys, you know. you got yeah. relationships with both of them. And, yeah. you know, they're both yours. And, you know, one yeah. guy's not going to come exactly. through. Exactly. <laughs> uh, but Less is a draw. We don't yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But, but the reality is that it's about opportunities. Yes. The whole bo boxing game is about opportunities. Yeah. And we're basically giving our guys the opportunity. They want to do it. It's yeah. good for both of them. And uh, you know what? May the best guy win. And, you know, they're going to be bitter rivals in that ring. I but they're friends that. outside the ring. Yeah. They were... They were planning on sparring that Friday. Mm. When I called them and told each one of them, they said, well, I'm supposed to spar Friday. Yeah. You know? And they said, well, don't. <laughs> uh, You'll see them later. Exactly. Right? <laughs> but you know what? That makes for good fights in the ring. Mm -hmm. They know each other well, and you know, there's a lot of bragging rights there. Yes. Um, and it's a, it's a good fight for both of them. And truthfully, when all is said and done, for the winner, yeah. it's great. Yeah. You know, he goes on. Uh, but that's what this game's about. Okay. And uh, the guy who doesn't win, you know, listen, we'll bring him back. Yeah, we'll yeah. see. We, we'll work some things out. Exactly. Now, you continuously put on great phenomenal fights. You're one of the best promoters in New York City. Um, how is your relationships, you know, how is that going on? You're working with Matching Boxing, Design, Bella, things like that. 
How has that been? Because oh, it seems great. to be a success. You know? Yeah, look, it's it's it's, uh, it's successful. It's great. I mean, there's a lot of opportunities out there now. Mm -hmm. uh, the relationship with Eddie and, and uh, Matchroom has been perfect. We're mm -hmm. doing a lot of things together. We're actually uh, going to be making a nice announcement about Joe Smith Jr. I was going uh, to well. get, so we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But anyway, so it's great stuff yeah. because uh, you know we're working well together. And for mm -hmm. the zone, yeah. spectacular. Listen, yeah. he got the ability now to go put down 9.99 a month. Yes. And watch every fight. Yeah. You know, every fight that's on the zone at least yeah. uh, so it's a good thing it's you know it's another platform and opportunity for the fighters to have uh -huh. it's uh, you know, good for the fans yeah. um, and you know we're looking forward to it it's it's yet another uh, avenue for people to see boxing which is always good okay so last but not least before I let you go you just mentioned it because I was gonna bring it up you got Joe Smith fighting on your guy Joe Smith Fighting, beast. Um, the Beast from the East <laughs> fighting on uh, Dimitri Bivel for the WBA light heavyweight title. Your thoughts? Look, it's... Because um, <laughs> a lot of us believe Joe can, you know, can, yeah. can take it. You know, we, we were gearing to fight Bivel early in November. Gotcha. And then it turned out mm -hmm. that things changed and we were going to fight Better BF. Okay. BWF, yeah, how you yeah. pronounce it. What are the Bs? Uh, <laughs> but he pulled out. He didn't want to fight Joe because yeah. he had just uh, been in a tough fight. And okay. And now the way it's uh, it's come back, yeah. big thing of the circle, yeah. and we're gonna fight Beaver. Yeah, it's great. Look, it's both of them. The whole idea is get the biggest opportunities. We spoke about that before. Absolutely. Danny Gonzalez fighting against Chris Algieri. Yeah. It's all about opportunity. And Joe Smith now will have the opportunity that he's always been clamoring for as a yeah. world championship. Joe's always told me, I want to fight for the championship of the world. Mm. And you know what? Years ago. We put him against Von Farah. Mm -hmm. He was a 20 to 1 underdog. Oh man, that was right? an amazing fight. Boom. Boom. Chicago. What exactly, was spectacular. <laughs> then Bernard, you yes. know, it was supposed to be the farewell for yeah. Bernard, you know. And well, he it was a that. farewell. Exactly. <laughs> 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 nice little play it was yeah. on the words. And yeah. right now, you know, we're looking forward for this fight with uh, Bevo. Mm -hmm. I have high expectations for Joe. He's a, he's a, he's a banger. Yes. And Bevo's a great fighter. Yeah, he is. Very good fighter, so very skilled, Absolutely. very technical. So it should make for a good fight. But uh, look, I know that Joe, he's got that, that hammer in his hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he got that one-headed quitter. Exactly. He stopped the show with it. Absolutely. It's a game stopper. So today, you're going to y'all make the announcement in the sense about Bevo and um, um, Joe Smith. Um, uh, was it tomorrow or Friday you're going to have the press conference? Yeah, press, press, press conference will be Friday, yeah. Okay. Is there is there any word as to where the venue is going to be set or is that going to be announced today? There is. It's going to be announced, and uh, but I think it's probably better off that I hold back and not make that announcement now. Got you. All right. Well, we appreciate your time, Joe. We're going to see you soon. And good luck with everything. Good stuff, we'll continue baby. success. Absolutely. Say. You too. All right. Thanks again. All right, buddy. Thanks.